Hi gang, it's Jane from StrikeBinder here in San Antonio. Today I'd like to do a how-to on explosions. Let me grab Joe and we'll head in the back and get started. Grab your touch and turn it on. When the home screen appears, hit the OK button. For today's explosions, we're going to use a sound and adjust your sensitivity slider as needed. We're going to plug the sound sensor into the input jack labeled sound. Test the sound sensor by just tapping on the sensor. You do need to wait until the touch is, says ready. Have patience, Joe. It'll say ready. We're going to use a flash today. It's connected to the touch. And our flash settings are going to be on manual. And we're using the lowest setting, which on this flash is 1 128. We're plugging a flash sync cable into the flash to attach it to our touch. There it is. Now that your flash is already set, let's plug everything in. Plug your sound sensor into the input jack. You can test it just by snapping your fingers and making sure it triggers. Nice. Next, go ahead and plug in your flash in the lower input jack that's labeled camera flash. The reason we're going to use a flash is it will eliminate any shutter lag with your camera, making the capture of the explosions super fast. You can test the setup just by a snapping and you can see the flash is triggering. We're plugging a shutter release into the camera. And again, we're doing this to eliminate most of the shutter lag on the camera. We're using the shutter release to open the shutter just prior to shooting the dart. Remember, it's the flash, not the shutter, that stops the action. We'll take a test picture of the balloon. All right, everything's working. Next, we'll plug in the TV. Joe's dialing in the camera settings right now. You can see the sound sensor underneath the balloon and the flash is off to the left. We do take our pictures in the dark and that's to prevent any ghosting on the pictures. But before we turn off the lights, I want to show you what it looks like with the lights on. One, two, three. Same thing this time with the lights off. We made our blow dart just using a simple straw and a piece of foam attached to a needle. Hey, there it is, our homemade dart. Thank goodness for Photoshop. Well, that wraps up our video for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. But more importantly, I hope it sparked some ideas on how you can capture some explosions using your strike finder. We'll see you next time.